Hello and welcome back to another uh, part of Mass Effect Andromeda Let's Play. Um, decided I was going to go through the emails. I've read them all already, but I'm going to just quickly go through these. This is the new update that allows you to modify your face now, or body, post, you know, play. But um, you can pause if you want to read these. Um, my arm's kind of hurting me right now, and I realized one of the reasons why I was doing this. And I remembered, oh yeah, because I lost my entire backlog when I was injured. Uh, my jaw got all kinds of fucked up. And yeah, that was, um, that was, that was real fun. Hello, writer. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons, and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Oh yeah, let me uh, go ahead and fix my volume, sorry about that. But um, yeah, I, I'd like to make sure I have a backlog for when I get injured or need time off. How that. are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Thresher Moors eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Oh, uh, God. How are those jokes coming, Sam? My algorithms are formulating a new one, calculating the trajectory of the punchline. <laughs> that was not a joke. Oh, right. <laughs> How are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. How are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. Why is it still white then? I'm gonna talk to the Moshai again. Read the mission oh. briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that, but Exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Yeah, and don't show your hand. That's always a good tactical strategy. Ryder. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Cat. Destined or annoying, quick. Got some crazy mist that hides them from view, their friends too. Yep. Take a Destined down, and that mist goes away. Makes them a prime target, if you ask me. Perfect for grenade practice. Wish I had AoEs. Tell me more about fighting Cat. So, Chosen, it's not good to let too many of them get close to you at once. If they hit your shields, take a step back. Let me handle them. Bet you anything they're not used to being rushed by a Krogan. <laughs> Tell me more about fighting Cat. 
Fire and explosives are good against anything with heavy armor. Or anything, really. Generally, no one likes being set on fire. Generally? There's a story behind this. Ha, <laughs> there sure is. You mentioned that people generally don't like being set on fire? <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask. So, about 400 years ago, give or take a decade, me and my outfit were pinned down during a skirmish with another merc group. So I pull off my usual stunt, charge ahead and breach their barricade. Pop my flamethrower and get ready to let go. Only to see them all screaming and running away. Turns out I crashed through a shipment of Turian brandy on my way in. Never even noticed I was on fire. But they sure did. <laughs> Never seen a pack of mercs panic that badly before. Wait, you were on fire? Fuck's sake, dude. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Ascendant. Hmm. Keep your distance. Don't let him get you in those force yep. fields. Pop that little orb, then shoot him in the head, just like anything else. Yep. Except they fucking have a lot of health even after that, which is a little bit annoying. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Fiends, uh, kid. Even I'm not gonna mess with those at close range. Keep your distance. Shoot them into red fleshy bits, or I guess in the face if you can't flank them. You know, it's funny. Meleeing them and shit isn't actually that bad. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Just gotta Kat. watch out for the right hand. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. Tell me more... Shoot stuff and don't yep, die. That's it. Always works for me. Sure. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't figured I'm it out, the tech lab, Pathfinder. this is the go around and talk to everyone episode. So, mental wellness. Uh, stage real stress, PTSD. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's true. Same as any injury needs to be treated. Just need to rest up a bit while oh. I recover my strength. Can't talk to her yet. All right. Was that always like that? I don't remember that always being there. Like lifted up like that. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. The NLC and Asari reproduction and cat exaltation are similar in a lot of ways. I can see it. The cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. Phoebe, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. Uh, it actually makes sense, though. I'm thinking that Archon's, like, the main person of his race or whatever. Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. They're no longer Angara. The cat changed them into something else. That's the atrocity. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. I know Thanks for chatting. Talks. We'll talk again later. You know it. The amount they talk about, like, on the, what do you want to call it, is a lot. The Nomad. But the amount they talk about with you is not that much, apparently. Going through the readouts from the cat facility, I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. Is it really that much more advanced? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I mean, you know, they're able to modify our genetics, so probably a little bit, but... Oh shit, this is Jaw! Damn it! I want to save him for last. Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? 
I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. What? We all have many mothers. What? My family's small. And are you close? Uh... I mean, I still don't know my in-game sister. <laughs> um... I wouldn't say he's close with his sister, but... I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. What's that icon? What's that icon? Why does that have a special icon? I don't like that it has a special icon. I want to click it because it has special... <laughs> but I feel like this is the new uh, gay romance with Jal. And um, as comfortable as I am with my sexuality, I'm not gay, so I'm not going to click the gay one. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. Anything else? There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? I'm wondering if the the game has registered. Can I ask you a few more questions? Have I have I all yet? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Oh God, that's a lot. Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Hmm. I like that. I like the Angara a lot. Can you tell me about your family? Fuck, uh, I really like assuming that. you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sauna, and more than five additional mothers, and Many, many, many siblings <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed. Oh, by the my fuck. We never found his body. Oh, fuck me. It's the. Oh, God. He's a. He's a cat. My dad died on our first mission here. I didn't know him as well as I could have, I guess. I think I was close to mine, yet maybe close has a different meaning for humans. Something to learn, I guess. Anything else you want to ask? Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. 
The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. I hope being here will inspire me. God, I like well, Jaw. Enough about that. I'll see you later, Jaw. Stay strong and clear. I swear to God, if that stuff on the left hand side doesn't go away, God damn, it's not gonna go away. Oh wait, yeah, there was yes? nothing else. I'll be here. If oh yeah, I should go talk to Cora, shouldn't I? Boring old Cora. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together, expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Nope, not that one. Uh, so it's romance. It's most definitely romance. They just changed the icon for gay, apparently. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Come on. Come on. I don't like you, but I'm gonna get the rest of the conversations. Hi there. Any more commando war stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. She was a biotic protege. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing, crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. They didn't feel it for long. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. Any Someone made a reference to stories? age at this point. Not just now. I'll try to remember a good one. See you later. Fuck it, I'll leave that other one because I'm sure there's no news on it. Accidentally, you know, skipped it because haha. -ha. Mouse. In engineering if you need anything, Ryder. Oh yeah, there's a downstairs. I need to talk Hey there. To. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, think you'll have kids? <laughs> Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you and Sam were cheating at poker. She's starting the Initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. Dark, no. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you, I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Mm -hmm. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? <laughs> the biological imperative is kind of a bummer. Uh, uh... There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA, or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Ah, fuck, I would have wanted hey, to follow turned out alright. He did his part. Brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. 
Uh, if anything else to say? Besides the fact I wound up very far in this room. Ah, uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way? What's the problem? Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. Or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting protein and full night's rest. Oh yeah, I could just fall, couldn't I? To make it faster in a minute. Nothing in this room. Nobody's in this room. Nothing to interact with. Huh. Liam? What is with the constant nudity? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Huh? Yeah, I get that one. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kick them in the teeth. Great. But they can't steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Liam, we're not from here, and never will be. But we are here. We can't always be strangers, there's no room. That's not what I wanted to choose. I, I wanted... wanted this. Ah, I sure Everything know. new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Is it your dick? Did you bring anything... from the Milky Way? One or two things. But the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. I'm gonna go with that. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up Pathfinder. I think that's the heartfelt Join one the there. Club. The screw up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <sighs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. else to talk with shirtless man pathfinder sorry if things got strange last time we talked i mean it's pretty You're strange the first person i told about all that it um felt really good anything i can do for my team liam stuff like that goes above and beyond pathfinder at least i hope so anyway made me think we should do more just out and about off ship like the market on aya I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on, but mostly it's a day out, something familiar. Turns out I need that. Uh, uh oh, okay. Uh, why don't you turn around so we can keep talking? <laughs> so I can talk Still to waiting everyone. on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. <laughs> mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. Just raising my chair. Res tell me about really your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. We'll talk later. I know it. Alright, so... Am I? I? I mean, I know Vetra. I was thinking saving Jal for last, but... Realistic speaking, I wanted to save Vetra for last. Yeah, yeah, she's last. Oh, well. It was the front of the ship, but... Nah. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. Uh... I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well... Her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Why does that feel so much that more too. heartfelt? I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Hmm. I mean, she pretty much is. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. Oh. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? That little jowl flex was adorable. Oop. Oop, we're back. Yep, Gordon just stopped there. Um, when you make alien physiology seem... You know, well, alien, I think it makes it work better. Looks more realistic. I thought I hated the cat before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whenever my dad did, destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavan? No, we'd already left Palavan by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. Well, How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. 
You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Comfortable's good. Comfortable's safe. Um... Yeah, just, just the front of the ship now. Wanted to talk to the whole crew because, you know, that was a, that was a pretty big in-game discovery. I think I discovered that probably about a few missions prior. I can't exactly remember. Callum, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Already know that. Your outpost Prodromos is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Dude, I already did this. We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. <laughs> now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? Y yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. Was I supposed to do that after the exaltation thing? Because holy shit, did I not do that in the right order then? Oh. You know, I'll, I'll talk to each one of them. The hell you did? You can't just undo 10 hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callow. I know, just please don't let this distract you. God damn it. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. I swear to God, I listened to this But he one. forgot to lock his terminal, and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. <laughs> oh, I finally get that story now. Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Sorry. You'll have to... What do you think of the rest of the... No. Oh, <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. You... So there are no new things. God. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. We all knew that would happen. That we'd wake up and everything we knew would be gone. I knew it. Living through it is different. Thank you for the chat, Ryder. Anytime. 
Alright, now besides this very, very annoying remnant polymer and credits delivery 500, that's all for this episode. Uh, At part. least we managed to save the Moshai. Hmm? I only wish we could have saved more. Now, um, gonna go ahead and, uh, well, I think, I think we're heading to... Old orbit is steady. We're gonna head to that goddamn, uh, Nexus. Right? Oh no, we head to Aya. Well, heading to Aya. That next part will be at, uh, Aya. So, um, hope you all enjoyed. And, um, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like, uh, comment, or if you want to see more, subscribe. Um, and as always, have a good one. Scourge's drag on the ship. At least it keeps Aya hidden.